Hey guys, look behind. Uh, what am I looking at behind me? You said look behind. Okay, I'm looking. Is anybody there? Or if I'm filming, you can come behind me and show yourself on camera. I have my phone with me. I'm not here to harm you. My name is Tina. My nickname, at least, I prefer to go by Tina. Um, I'm just here to walk around and explore. You can talk to me if you want through my phone. This device here with this app should hopefully pick up what you're trying to say. There was, I think, a headstone here that looked like it belonged to a kid that I actually wanted to leave something for. It's just trying to find it. It's going to be difficult, y'all. I don't even know if I'm going to find it because I don't even remember where... Kenneth? Kenneth. Do we have a Kenneth here? That's the name that just came up, y'all. Kenneth. We've got Camille. Camille is such a pretty name. Who are these people buried over here? Edward? Dad? Grandma? Mom? Aw. Okay. Let's walk around and see if we can find that headstone. Okay, guys. So, Kenneth is the last word that came through. Spirits, can you guide me to that headstone that I'm talking about, or a kid's headstone? I could have sworn I saw one. Look at that, we got a lot of World War. You know what would be nice, actually? To leave some stuff for soldiers, actually. North. So these two, maybe they were brothers, because they both have the same last name. Were you guys brothers? Let's see if speech says anything. Hello. Is anybody here? It's in reaching soon. Well, can you say that again? Are we filming? Did you say, are we filming? Did you ask? Wow, you guys, that looks interesting. I'm gonna use the um, necro necrophonic because I feel like that's much easier to communicate with. There's a big helicopter going up. Hello. Oh, hold on, y'all. This helicopter is loud. Do you guys see the helicopter? Hold on, y'all. Y'all, this person served in World War II. They both have the same last name, right? But this one served in World War II. You can see they were born in 1911 uh, and died in 1944. And then that person was born in 1800s. And then they died in 1954, I think, from where I can see here. But they served in World War I. So that's actually very, very interesting. So they must have been some family members. Maybe father, son or something. Let me see. Hello. Can you tell me your name? Did you say, is that you? Can the, the people buried here and here, can you tell me your names? Can you say that again? Can you tell me your name? Wow, you guys, I feel like it's kind of saying something, but it's hard to understand it. Let's see if Spirit Talker says anything. Why is my 
My brightness is on. It just looks dark on the video, I guess. Let's see. Hello. Can you guys communicate with me through this app, please? The bench. Y'all. The, the I bench. I was literally at that bench earlier. That's crazy. Are you talking about the bench that I was at earlier? Are you there right now? That's crazy. Wow. That is what a coincidence. Are the people buried here and over there? Are you guys here with me? Can you say your name, please? You guys, in a prior investigation, I was using this app right here. I think this one, or, or maybe it was Necrophon or Necrometer. I forgot, but one of them. I think it was maybe this one. Um, and it said that person's name, Cyrus, who was buried at the at the cemetery, which was insane. And I was at his headstone too. So I wonder if it would do that here. Can you please tell me your name? I think we have another person buried here. Rebecca. World War One and Two. Wow. Can you believe that? That's wild. The bench. That's crazy. The first thing that came up was the bench. We've got another person buried over there. That's I think also from Deliberate. Deliberate. Y'all, I can't believe it said the bench. Hold on. I'm gonna use necrometer. I feel like the words more words come through with Necromancer app. At least that's what I feel like. Okay, hold on. You guys. I'm gonna get some stuff for these guys to leave here for them. Something small. And that I think they would appreciate. I'm trying to see if I can find that kid that I saw that was like it was a kid. Wow, okay. We're gonna walk back this way. I'm gonna turn on the necrometer voice. Text, or text. Okay, so last word it said was Kenneth. Over here we've got the Johnson family. Hello, Johnson family. We've got mom. Hello, Sana. Johnson. Wow. Oh, maybe this blackmail. Can you tell me what you mean by blackmail? But some flowers there. Seeing people buried here with like family, like couple married couples and stuff, just I don't know why it breaks my heart. We've got the Clancy family here. Are the Clancy family here with me? Baby boy. Y'all. Okay. I found a place where I'm gonna leave something for this child. Baby boy. Coach. Poor thing. Wow. I hope they don't mind that I leave something here. Everybody's been gone for a few years now, so like everybody I died suddenly you guys I died suddenly oh my gosh yep 
this person died suddenly. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Breaks my heart. Cause no, nobody deserves to to die so young, or anybody in general. But like, are you at peace now? Let's see what voice says. Are you at peace? It's so hard to understand what they say on this map in this voice. Let's use Necrophonic for a little bit. Are you at peace? Is baby boy with his parents? Is it okay if I leave a special gift for you? I heard you up. Okay guys, I'm gonna be leaving a gift for the baby here, but I wanna ask first the parents of this child if it's okay for me to leave this. Hey spirits, I would like to speak to the spirits of baby boy coach. Well, let me turn on my necrophonic while I talk to them. Okay. Let me show them what I want to leave for them first so that they can see as well. I don't think they're going to mind if I leave them this little gift. This is what I want to leave them. Him, the little baby. Spirits. Are the spirits of baby boy is, does he couch over here? Are the spirits of baby boy for him here with me present? Please cross the rods for yes. Open for no. Sorry. Let's try that again. If, if baby boy's spirits are here or him, please cross the rods for yes. Open for no. Okay. Thank you. So I have this gift I would love to leave for your son. Is that okay? Can you please cross the rods for yes? Open for no. Cross for yes if it's okay for me to leave a gift. Is it fine that I leave the gift for your baby boy? Sounds like I heard yes. Thank you, spirit. I just want to make sure. So you guys, look at this. I'm gonna leave this for the little baby boy over here. I can. So this is where I'm going to leave this this one for this baby. I know that it's it's a picture of a girl. But that's okay. I can always come back and get you a boy angel. But for now, I'll just leave this one with you. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, guys. So, the word 19 came up. Thank you, Roy and Pearl and baby boy. I hope you are all together on the other side and at peace. If these are your parents, I'm thinking they are. Hope you are at peace. We're gonna move along, you guys. Who do we have here? Ma and Pa. Oh, I love this. That's a beautiful name, Caroline. And you don't see that name at all, really. We've got father here 
Oh, look at that. You can't even see his name. I hope it's okay that I remove these leaves a little bit so people can see who you are. Is that okay, Spirit? Father. One lost soul. I'm so sorry. I am truly sorry. My heart breaks for any souls that are lost. If you're lost right now, currently, and you haven't been able to cross the other side or reach the other side, please reach out to God. Call for God. Call for Jesus. And go to the light. God loves all of us. He forgives us. And he wants us to be with him because we are his children. Oh, ow. What does that say? At rest, I think. At something. Thank you, Claude. I hope you are at rest. And if you're lost, just call for God. He'll come for you. Okay, guys. We've got Tony and Juanita buried here. Who is this person on the edge, you guys? This is the road that leads back down out. Who is this person here? World War II. Thomas? I think so. What is this? Thomas. Hello, Thomas. How are you? I'm popping you get splinters touching everything. Are you at peace? You guys, let's use necrophonic while we walk. Hi, Thomas. Oh, I heard, I heard hey. Did you just say hey? God, you guys, I heard that. Can you see me, Thomas? Thank you for your service. Oh, I hope you're at peace. That was like music. I really wonder where. Yes. Did you, did you see him off? Look at that unique headstone over there. Where that one other kid that is buried is at. Aww. Hey, Elmer. Ford. Hey, family. Thank you for your service, Elmer and everybody else. Look at that headstone. This one's hard to read. Oh no, that's some name there. Wow. Wow, you guys, honestly, I'm impressed. I'm gonna turn on cigarette. Is there a cigarette around here? Or maybe the people, the person mourn. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I hope, honestly, all of you have been able to cross over to the other side because that's where we belong. We all belong with God. Heaven is our home. We're just here on earth for um, to experience things. That's what we're here for. We've got the Timmin family right here. Hello, Timmin. Wow, y'all. This is just wild. I 
what I'm gonna do is set up a oh what's this we've got little headstones let me show you you lose what do you mean you lose you see the small headstone are you upset that I'm visiting today please don't be upset I promise I just come in love respect and kindness you guys there's a little sheep statue oh my gosh another one the little sheep wow hold on i want to take a picture of this little sheep statue wow you guys and this one oh my back almost gave out is that what you mean let's say 1911 to 19 20 that's a short life too oh wow i'm sorry so right now i'm at the i'm standing next to the germ germ family so we've got a young kid that's passed away here which looks like the name carl so we've got names here we've got from the 1800s and they've passed away in the 1900s So, these people have been gone for quite a while. Wow, I'm gonna just walk around really quickly right here and just see. Wow, y'all. Wow. It's just quite nice here. Very noisy though, but it's nice. We've got baby Simmons over here. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby Simmons. Oh, my heart. 1920. There's also a kid over there. I need to get some more little statues and things. But I think for this one, I'm going to leave the statue here. I'll show you what else I got. All right, here's what I got. This one I got for $2 from Goodwill. I'm going to take that sticker off, but this one, Baby Simmons. Maybe this is too big. I don't know. Is it too big to just go over here? I don't want it to get, like, run over or anything like that. I don't think, I don't think it will, but... I think it looks actually quite nice over there. It does. Okay guys, so I've left this little angel one for baby Simmons here. Because you don't know if it's a girl or a boy or what. But let's see. Hello. Did you say friend? That sounded like it said, yeah. Maybe it said Fred or friend. Can you see me? Oh my god, y'all. I think it said we could see you. Did you just say we can see you? of baby Simmons here or his parents or her parents can they come through please hi oh my god that sounds like a little kid you guys it sounds like a baby oh, that's sad is that the kid talking oh my god I'm getting teary eyed is it is it okay that I leave this baby statue for you? Or this angel statue for you? Is it okay that I leave that for you? Oh my god, you guys. 
the voice of like the baby, like child talking. Do you like the gift I left for you? You like that gift? Yeah. Oh god, you guys. Oh my god, this is making me emotional. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Are you guys at peace now? Are you at peace? Baby, Baby Simmons, have you crossed over to the other side? Yeah, that's good. I'm glad. Thank you for communicating with me, y'all. That just got me emotional. I'm just going to put Spirit Talker for now. But that just, just to hear like the voice of the kid and everything. Oh my God, my heart, my heart. I hope you like the gift I left for you. I know it's probably, I don't know if you're a boy or, if, or a girl, but it's just an angel statue. You can't go wrong with that, right? I think it's perfect for anybody, honestly. I hope you like it. So before I leave, I have to go check if my first little statue that I left is still here. So. We're gonna go and see oops, if it's still here. So I was thinking for the future, I wanna get like maybe some little American flags, I think, small ones, and then put them at the headstones of the people who have served here. I think that would be a good idea. So I think that is my plan. So we're gonna go see, see like that person has a little red. American flag for that headstone, which I think is a person who served. So we're back. Hello, Esther. And the headstone or the baby one is still here. I love that. So that's nice to see that this thing is still here. All right. Um, out of here. at my car but I see a lot of these little robins flying everywhere little birds they're so cute hello oh my gosh actually before we go back to the car I just have to read what these headstones here say if you guys remember last time I was here too there was creepy noise coming from over there not like cut I guess it was music, but it was kind of just creepy because of how random it was. I don't know. We've got the Walker family here. So one passed away in 1970, the other 1960, 2008. Wow. This is like wild to think about it because like this is gonna be me one day I won't be here and then maybe there'll be people doing investigations if I'm buried somewhere at a like cemetery we've got father we've got mother here now you see father and mother over here they didn't die too far apart from each other And then looks like the Hunter family, 1889, Moss Man. I hate moss sometimes, because look what it does to headstones. See that? Makes it to where you can't even, like, read the person's names anymore. In memory of Chuck. And then here I think it says Hansen. It's 
hard to read it. Maybe Harold, I don't know. Harrison. Why did I think it said Hanson? You see, moss. It's just so difficult. He died in 1957. There's people who professionally clean headstones. I would love to do that myself, but I'm not a professional. So, I mean, I can always learn and stuff, but before you clean headstones and things, you guys, you need to get the permission of the groundskeeper here. Sorry, I had to leave because there was a freaking bee. Church family. Right here. Brothers. Albert. Why they died so close to each other. Oh, man, you see what I mean? Like, this moss. Can't see anything. Okay. I'm gonna walk back to the car. Another, look at that. I think next time I'll bring like a little brush to at least wipe off the debris. The grass here, guys, is very pokey. So it's not like... Called. It's not even fun to sit down here because it's just so pokey. We've got mother and father here. <sighs> well, I guess 1900. That's a quite a life there. See, another one hard to understand who these people are because they're just married. They're buried. Hardcore. They're headstones. 1991. Hello, Mary. I hope you're at peace. See, more people serving U.S. Coast Guard, World War One. Another one over there. Next time we'll check out this area a little bit more. Father, mother, Napoleon. I actually love that name. Another Mary. Thank you for your service, everybody. You see, we are back at the car. Okay guys, I'm in the car now. Ooh, it's toasty in here. But yeah, so my plan is to get like maybe little rocks. I could paint, maybe I could paint them or I can write something. Or I can just buy like small little cute rocks or something. And then just leave those two and if I can't find like little angel statues or stuff like that. Get the little f American flags for the soldiers and things like that. I don't want to do anything too crazy and overwhelm. I try to only leave things mainly at grave sites from that are from a while back, just in case. You know, I don't want to leave anything for anybody that was that died in the 2000s and after, just because um, that's recent. You know, they probably have family members around and things like that. So. Yeah, at least for like kids and stuff, but soldiers, I think it'll be fine to leave like a little American flag for them. I don't know, if you guys have any ideas of what I could leave for them, please let me know. Um, it's just small, simple things that won't get in the way that isn't an eyesore or anything like that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.